can't tell if my hair looks messy on purpose or just messy. Hello humans! You may or may not know, and you probably will know because I spoke about this in my last video, I am a huge Grace Helping fan. And you would know, uh, maybe, how there are sometimes those people that are kind of just, they like a person so much they become the person. And it's kind of creepy and you want to like take some steps backwards from them because they might physically harm you. You don't know. What you do know is that I'm not one of those people, but today I'm going to pretend to be. So today, guys, Grace went on her Tumblr and asked you what you wanted to learn how to do. And a lot of people replied. And because I am a bad person and don't have enough followers to be able to do this myself, I'm going to take some of her followers' answers and pretend like they asked me. And then, basically, I'm going to be Grace Helping. Let's get straight into it. This person said... How to trick people into thinking you've got your stuff together when you really don't. Okay, there are three very simple steps into looking like you have your stuff together when you actually don't. Step one, don't wear your pyjamas out in public. Step two, don't have dirty hair because you want to make people think you have time to do your hair. Step three, drink tea. Because people that drink coffee are trying to stay awake because they didn't plan their day correctly. People that drink alcohol are trying to forget forget their bad day, people that drink, you know, hot chocolate or whatever are trying to feel comforted because they're really upset. Whereas people that drink tea have got their stuff together so they can indulge. So drink tea and basically don't do what I did today, which is wear my pyjamas out in public, do my hair like no one even cares and drink coffee. Another person asks, how to ignore the craving to eat bacon when you're a vegetarian? For that stuff, if you're craving bacon, is that not an, like a... Uh, that indication you shouldn't be a vegetarian? You want to eat meat! Why would you deny yourself this simple pleasure? You could most likely get, you know, like tofu bacon or something. Someone else says, how do I get us to prom? Please! I'm desperate! Here's a crazy idea. Why don't you ask someone to prom? By your profile picture, I'm assuming you are a female, or you could just be a creepy guy who has a girl as his profile picture. That's not the point. The point is, we are in the 21st century. You are a strong, independent, capable woman and you can ask a boy yourself, or a girl, you know, if you are inclined that way. Or if you really want someone to ask you, maybe go up to them and say, hi, will you go to prom with me? They might say, yes, and then you say, okay, now you ask me, we'll take turns. And that's what I probably will do in a couple of years when I'm trying to get a date to form one. And the last one is make a bedsheet toga. Now, I don't actually have a bedsheet, but I have this blanket and it's fluffy and I shouldn't be doing this because I don't have my fan on or my window open because of noise and I'm probably going to die. But I think the main thing is really to kind of just get it, get one corner and just like throw it over your shoulder. And then you're just going to want to get the back bit here and just kind of wrap that around yourself like that and just make a nice little little waist waist bit there great and then you're just going to want to hold your hand behind your back the entire night and uh actually hold your, sh your shoulder thing and your back bit together yep for the entire night great this is how to make a bed sheet toga so you know you're just going to want to style it So yes, that is my attempt at a Tipsy Thursday. I think I should just leave it to Grace. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I enjoyed making it and it meant that I had an excuse in my mind to watch lots of Grace videos and I love her to pieces. And you should love her to pieces, so go and check out her channel and face and she's great. And yeah you guys, that's all I really have to say on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment and subscribe. And yeah. I will see you all later. I love you. Goodbye. Fun fact, this is my tripod, but it's actually not tall enough. So I am once again using books to make a tripod. Oh, production quality. Production quality.